Cinder the bear is heading home. The 30 pound black bear was one of the smallest victims of last year's Carlton complex fire. She was found starving and suffering from severe burns when a Methow Valley rancher spotted her. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you with her send off back into the wild today. Katie? Nadine, when she was found, officials didn't know if she would survive. So small that at a year old, she looked like a cub. Cinder was flown to a wildlife rescue center in Lake Tahoe, California by a volunteer pilot where she spent months recovering from her severe burns. After a long recovery, she was taken to the Idaho Black Bear Rehabilitation Center near Boise to learn how to live in the wild and hibernate for the winter. Wildlife officials say Cinder is missing a few toes but is very healthy. Today, collared with a GPS monitor, she was released north of Leavenworth back into the wild, but not alone. She's got a friend with her, a young black male bear named Kulana, who hasn't left her side since she arrived at the re rehabilitation center. Of those invited to see her release, the volunteer pilot who flew her to Lake Tahoe to seek the care she needed. I hope she lives out in a natural life and Good raises God. cubs and Good hopefully God. never encounters another human. Bear. Good Cinder's final Good view God. of humans is a negative one. Come. Wildlife experts say the hard release teaches bears to avoid places with people and dogs. Those who cared for Cinder agree they would like to see her become a mother and hopefully her caller will give them some insight to that. Excuse me. Biologists say they have already gotten data from her GPS caller twice today. Reporting in studio, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.